Hello, we are HeloChat, your trusted first line of defense to help stop fraud and onboard with confidence. Welcome to our video series, Amla Compliance 101, where we study Bank Negara Malaysia's customer due diligence guideline for Amla Compliance, specifically for the NFBPs, so you don't have to. But before we dive straight into the topic of due diligence, it's important for us to first understand the primary foundation, which is AMLA itself. And once we understand what AMLA is, we can then move on to talking about the deeper subjects. So we will begin by asking you, do you know what AMLA is? Is it ringing any bell or you know, maybe you've seen or heard this term in the news but you're not quite sure about its meaning? Well, then you're in the right place because the rest of this video will give you an understanding of what AMLA is. So let's get started. So AMLA is short for the Anti-Money Laundering, Anti-Terrorism Financing and Proceeds of Unlawful Activities Act 2001. AMLA plays a very vital role in Malaysian law. It aims to stop money laundering and the financing of terrorism while also establishing the legal structure to confiscate property linked to these crimes. Okay, so now you understand that AMLA is basically an anti-money laundering law. You might be wondering, why is it so crucial? So let's dive into why AMLA is important. So firstly, AMLA safeguards the integrity of Malaysia's financial system. Think of it like a protective shield. By enforcing strict regulations, AMLA prevents criminals from infiltrating the financial world which keeps our economy secure. Secondly, AMLA helps maintain Malaysia's good reputation on the global stage. In a world where countries trade and do business with each other, trust is very, very vital. So AMLA ensures that Malaysia is seen as a trustworthy partner, attracting international investments and opportunities. Third, AMLA is all about national security. It stops money from falling into the hands of terrorists and other criminals, making Malaysia a safer place for all of us. And last but not least, AMLA upholds the principles of fairness and transparency. By making sure that everyone plays by the same rules, it ensures that financial opportunities are accessible to everyone and not just a selected few. Okay, so now I'm sure that you have understood what AMLA is and why it's important. So of course, we need to know who is governed under this law, or in other words, who has to comply with AMLA. So AMLA applies to a wide range of professionals and institutions in Malaysia. These entities are called reporting institutions and they play a crucial role in ensuring financial transparency and integrity. So here are some of the reporting institutions involved according to Bank Negara Malaysia. The reporting institutions that are governed under AMLA include lawyers, accountants, company secretaries, registered estate agents, trust companies, financial intermediaries, insurance and takaful operators, and many more. So these reporting institutions have to ensure that they take the necessary steps to comply with AMLA that are required by Bank Negara Malaysia. So to you who are watching this video right now, if your company is included as a reporting institution, ask yourself this very, very important question. Are you taking the necessary steps for AMLA compliance? Not complying with AMLA could put your business in a serious trouble and we're not even joking. Which brings us to the next segment of this video, which is a very, very important thing to talk about. So here are some of the punishments for non-compliance. If you fail to comply to the record keeping requirement, fail to report suspicious transaction, and fail to conduct customer due diligence, your company could be fined up to 1 million ringgit. And if you fail to comply with the requirements to retain documents for at least 6 years, you could be fined up to 3 million ringgit or jail up to 5 years or both. Yes, I know, it sounds very scary, right? And right now you might be thinking, okay, I really do want to comply, but how do I comply? What steps do I have to take? So for that, you gotta stay tuned for more videos from us because in the upcoming videos, we'll be sharing in details how to comply, what to do, and all there is that you need to know for specific industries. So if you are a registered estate agent, a lawyer, a company secretary, or a trust company, you're gonna want to stay tuned for the upcoming videos. So we're almost reaching the end of today's video. Now let's wrap up on what we have talked about today. Today we explored what is AMLA, why it's important, who has to comply with AMLA, and what are the punishments if you don't comply. 
but let's not forget to recognize and applaud Bank Negara Malaysia, BNM, for their crucial role in combating money laundering in our country. BNM, as the regulator of AMLA in Malaysia, plays a pivotal role in enforcing and overseeing the implementation of AMLA's provisions. They work diligently to ensure that all reporting institutions adhere to anti-money laundering and counter-terrorism financing measures. So let's together spread awareness about AMLA compliance and help combat money laundering so we can create a safer world for all of us. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more insightful content.